Assalomu alaykum hurmatli tinglovchi. Men Buxoro davlat tibbiyot universiteti mikrobiologiya, virusologiya va immunologiya kafedrasi dotsenti PhD Mustafaev Feruza bo'limdami. Bugun biz siz bilan ingliz tilida viruslar olami haqida zanchit leksiya o'tib bermoqchiman. Ingliz tilida Uh, let's begin today we speak about the virusology, viruses, about the world of the viruses. If you look at about the historical period of the viruses, viruses are unique infection agents which are produced only in the living cells. They occur in the bacteria, uh, uh, in the occurring bacteria, for example, algae, proteases, and plants and animals. And we look at about the Leupaster uses the term viruses to describe any living disease causing against. And uh, Dmitry Ivanovsky gave the first clear evidence of the viruses. And uh, he observed the leaf extract infected plants could introduce tobacco mosaic disease. What's the viruses? First, we, uh, if you look at the viruses, there are no cell nucleus, organelles, and cytoplasmas. Viruses show a property of living uh, things only inside the living cells and outside the cells they behave like a non-living things and they cannot obligate intracellular parasites and uh, they, uh, virus particles contain only one kind of the nucleic acid about the DNA or RNA and because they cannot reproduce by themselves and viruses are not considered living. They are very small, much smaller than the cells of the living things, and they are basic just packaging uh, of nuclear acid and proteins. Uh, general properties of the viruses. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. The size ranges from the 20 to uh, 30 hundred nanometer. Most viruses are invisible under the light microscope. That's why we use today to see uh, viruses electron microscopies. They, uh, they have very simple structure. They are nuclear protein particles consisting of DNA or RNA surrounded by protein capsules. They like, uh, they like cellular organization, cytoplasma, mitochondria, Golgi complex, lysosomes, and cell membranes and ribosomes are absent. They use ribosomes of the host during protein. Viruses cannot multiply outside living cells. They are obligate intraparasites. That's why this is some of the biggest differences between bacteria and viruses. And they are metabolically inactive. They lack enzyme system and protein synthesis naturally. Generally, cell has both DNA or RNA. They have only nucleon acids, one of them. They cannot, uh, they can be crystallized. And viruses do not have the power of the growth uh, and division. A fully formed virus cannot increase its size, neither cannot undergo division. And uh, some viruses uh, have uh, some viruses have spices. Most viruses are tissue specific. In here we can see why the types of the sizes of these, uh, for example, viruses. In here we can see viral viruses, some of the biggest uh, viruses, and one of the parvo viruses in the some of the smallest. Viruses. In here, in here we can see the sharp right the shapes of shapes of the viruses and sizes. Virus structure. If you look at virus structure, viruses bear no uh, resemblance to cells, like protein synthesis machinery. Viruses practical covering and central core. Covering is a capsid, is a capsid consists of caps capsomeres, and covering involved not found in all of the viruses. Central core, we can see nucleon acids, DNA or RNA, and matrix protein enzymes not found on all of the viruses. Capsides, if you look at some picture of these viruses, we can see in here, this is name is capsides. In here, we can see and the nuclear acids. The nuclear acids maybe is a DNA or RNA, one of them. And uh, in here, we can see some a complex viruses. The capsules of viruses are relatively simple and uh, are made from the multiple copies of the single protein. And canyon par uh, parvoviruses, very small viruses that infect its 
dogs has capsid made of the uh, 16 cups of the some capsid proteins. The capsules of originate in the 12, 12 capsomers, each of the which made five capsid proteins. In here we can see capsid proteins, five capsid proteins, and 12 capsomers. Function of the capsid involved. Protectors of the nuclear acid when the virus is outside of the host cells. Helps to virus bind uh, in the cell surface and assist uh, the pre penetration of the viral DNA or RNA into suitable host cells. In here we can see ecocidal shapes of the ecocidal filamentous scope and Cabezal cola, like that of the uh, shape, white shapes of the viruses. Morphology, viruses occur in the three shapes, helical, spherical, and complex. In here we can see complex, spherical shapes, and helical shapes of these viruses. Spherical symmetries, human immunodeficiency viruses. Today is one of the widespread in the world about the viruses is the human immunodeficiency viruses is affected our immune cells. And um, Crick and Watson have shown that uh, or capsides, they can have three possible types of symmetry with tetradal, uh, octahedral, and ecocidal. In here we can see one of the um, complex viruses in the world, influenza viruses. In here we can see some hemagglutinin, this antigenase, and neuroemdaza, and lipid, lipid billers. And in here we can see some other uh, uh, needs for viruses. And involved with the ecocidal nucleosides, herpaviruses. And herpaviruses is shapes. And helical symmetries. Helical capsules consist of monomers arranged in helicus around a single rotation axis. Tobacco, uh, tobacco mosaic viruses is uh, I told about the uh, uh, about the firstly Ivanovsky found. And here we can see bacteriophages. It's a difficult sum but of the and the uh, viruses. In here we can see three shapes of the viruses. Is a hierarchical symmetries of these viruses. Viruses genome. All the viruses have genetic materials made of the nuclear acid, may use the either RNA or DNA, both of the which are types is nuclear acids. <coughs> double stranded DNA and uh, double standard RNA, single standard NRA, or single standard RNA. <coughs> classification viruses. Viruses are mainly classified by phenomenal characters such as morphology, nuclear acid type, mode of replica uh, replication, host organism, and type of disease they cause. In here we can see system of the uh, classification viruses. Uh, system of the classification first order, family, subfamily, genus, and specific specifics. Baltimore classification first declined about 1971 as classification systems that places viruses into one seven groups depending on combination of the nuclear acids, DNA, RNA, and standard and single standard or double standard sense and methods of replication uh, like that. Baltimore classification, I told now about this. <clears throat> classification of the viruses basic of host range. About the bacteriophages, plant viruses, animal viruses, in fact, insectous viruses. What's the viral infections? Viral infection means that many viruses are using your cells to make more complex of them. Achievement, uh, attachment the virus is recognizing and bind to host cells via uh, uh, receptor molecules and the, all the cell of the surface. Okay, in here, attachment of these virus have attachment are, for example, cells. When is the end process? End process about the viruses. Genome replication and gen expense when they enter the host cells, they can genome replications. 
And genome replication we can see in here, DNA or RNA. And assembly diseases, uh, assembly is nearly synthesis capsin proteins come together to form capsomers which interact with other capsomers to form, form to full size capsides. Realize, this realize of the has status, the virus life cycle, the realize of new med viruses from the host cell. And viral, uh, viral disease, we wish you continue about the viral disease in our next lecture. Thank you for attention.